Good morning, everyone. Postnatal care is so important for new moms. How can Ayurveda help? Is the topic of the discussion today with Dr. Baljot Bharaj. Dr. Baljot is an Ayurvedic doctor with specialization in obstetrics and gynecologist. She focuses on antenatal and postnatal care. She also focuses on gynecological, beauty, and healthcare. I am Amita from Nourish Talk, a global platform for natural and holistic therapies. I'd like to introduce to, our, uh, to, uh, to all of you to Dr. Baljot Bharat, who's joining us from India. Welcome, Dr. Baljot. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Uh, I uh, thank Lord Dhanvantri for giving me this opportunity to share a very crucial, very important aspect uh, of a woman's life, that is the postnatal period, and what Ayurveda says about it, and how we can maintain our health uh, during postnatal care, which uh, helps uh, in maintaining our uh, a woman's health uh, uh, till later in the, in the life. So, uh, shall we start? Yes, please, please. Let's okay. start with why do we need postnatal care? So. Yeah, so why postnatal care? The weeks following birth are critical period for a woman and her infant setting the stage for long-term health and well-being. That is what I said. So to optimize the health of women and infants, postpartum care should become an ongoing process rather than a single encounter with services and support tailored to each woman's individual needs. So here I would like to emphasize that we cannot... Uh, compartmentalize the different phases uh, uh, in a woman's life. So uh, adolescent health is uh, related to antenatal he uh, health, then antenatal health is related to postnatal health and so on. So we cannot say that we have taken care of antenatal period, then it's okay. Uh, and then we have to uh, consider postnatal care as a separate entity. No, it is all interrelated. The healthy a woman is in all phases of her life, the more healthier she will remain. So in addition to being a time of joy and excitement, this fourth trimester can present considerable challenges for women. But by following Ayurvedic regimen, that is Sutika Paricharya, what it is called in Ayurveda, leads to rejuvenation of women on all the levels. The next year. So one major aspect why postnatal care is important is according to World Health Organization, most maternal and infant deaths occur in the first month after birth and almost half of postnatal maternal deaths occur within the first 24 hours and 66% occur during the first week. But considerable progress has been made globally in improving maternal health. The maternal mortality ratio has decreased from 380 to 210 women per 1 lakh live births between uh, 2000 and 2013. So uh, a lot uh, has been uh, done, it's, it's still being done, but and Ayurveda can uh, contribute uh, hugely in maintaining a woman's uh, health. So there are various terms uh, uh, for postnatal uh, care. So the time period after birth is known by different terminologies like postnatal period, postpartum period, purium and fourth trimester. So uh, WHO has uh, coined the term postnatal period. So we will, uh, but during the presentation, I will be uh, using all the terminologies so that uh, you can uh, understand or uh, you can be uh, relate to these terms. So purpurium begins as soon as placenta is expelled and lasts for six weeks during which the body tissues and organs, especially the pelvic organs like a uterus, uh, revert back to approximately pre-pregnant state, both anatom anatomically and physiologically. Then purpurium is divided into three phases. So those six weeks are also divided into three phases where we have to uh, take care of uh, of specific uh, problems like immediate is within 24 hours, early is up to seven days, and remote is up to six weeks. Next, yeah, and then Sutika Paricharya. What uh, Ayurveda has mentioned, and what modern uh, uh, is uh, uh, 
telling us is the same. The period after prasav, that is labor or delivery, when apra or placenta is expelled out is called as sutika avastha. The woman who has undergone the phenomena of prasav is called as sutika. In modern, it is uh, called as parpara. The word paricharya refers to the service or attention in all respects. So as a whole, the attention or care which is provided to the woman who has delivered a child is called as sutika paricharya or the postnatal care, as we all know. Now, what is the duration and uh, what is its, the significance of uh, sutika kal? Now, duration of sutika kal mentioned in Ayurveda varies from one and a half months, that is six weeks to six months, during which restrictions regarding the diet and lifestyle should be followed. In modern also, they are saying it is a six, the epidine period is six weeks, but, uh, what, but the, for body to recover fully, it takes at least six months. So we have to follow the regimen till six months at least. The body of purpural women becomes languid due to overexertion caused by continuous strong labor pains, the vitiation of the doshas, exhaustion of indriyas, the conative and the cognitive organs, then decrease in sour or the essence of dhatus and blood loss. So all these things happen during labor. So we have to recover, we have to replenish the woman, the mother uh, of these loss. So during Sutika Kal, following Sutika Paricharya helps further, uh, uh, helps prevent further complications, restore the health of mother, and helps in recovery of relaxed organs soon after delivery. So the, so the importance of Sutika Kal and Sutika Paricharya is that the mother recovers uh, in a healthy way. So the seven Bs of purpurium. So what seven things we have to uh, take care of during purpurium? So for number one is bowel. That is um, uh, where there are very various complaints uh, during postpartum period. And since uh, during the, due to the physiological changes, um, the, the body organs fun function differently in uh, uh, purpura. So constipation is uh, the one complaint, then stool incontinence is one complaint. So accordingly, we have to uh, take care of that. Then bladder uh, function, a urinary tract infection is common, then delayed micturition because uh, because of uh, the labor, uh, the nerve endings are also uh, sore. So patient or mother does not feel like uh, uh, passing urine. So we have to take care of that. Then bleeding, we have to assess the lochia. The bleeding uh, uh, is also uh, varies uh, <coughs> between the time periods. So we have to, that is called the lochia, that we have to assess. And then uh, if bleeding is there, we have to uh, look for the cause of bleeding, like whether it is fever, whether it is endometritis, or there are various other reasons we have to uh, check for that. Then bottom or the perineal area, uh, we have to specifically uh, check every day, and especially where episiotomy uh, has been given, then stitches we have to check. Um, then hemorrhoids or perineal wound gaping. <laughs> Sometimes the wound does not heal properly, so gaping is also there. Then discharge is also there. So here I will discuss one case, uh, one patient, she came after one month of delivery. Uh, uh, that was her first delivery and uh, she had episiotomy done. It, the stitches were okay, uh, healing was proper. Uh, there was little discharge and she was complaining of uh, continuous pain in the perineal area. Everything was okay. Uh, but when I started uh, the, the, the treatment we give during seven days or 10 days, her pain vanished and she felt healthy. So we have to take care of all these things. Then breasts, they are very important. Uh, there are, there, we can categorize into two parts. One is the breast and second is the breast milk. Now breast, mastitis is common, nipple soreness is common. So we have to take care of that. We have to properly guide the mother how to breastfeed the child. And then galactoria, um, excess breast milk, or sometimes um, uh, breast milk does not come or there is a low supply of uh, breast milk. So, and then assessment of breast milk. 
the how uh, the quality and quantity of breast milk and here also i would like to share a case like um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So she came after one month and said that breast milk is not adequate and my child, I, I will be sharing the testimonial later on also, uh, which is, she is not uh, uh, satisfied, she is not satiated. So uh, when I started uh, the Ayurvedic treatment, Ayurvedic medicines, she could feel the difference in the quality of the breast milk and quantity of the breast milk and the changes in the baby that she could sleep for uh, I think five to uh, three to four hours continuously, and she was very playful. Otherwise, earlier it, the baby was cranky. Then uh, birth control that we have to uh, educate the patient. Uh, there are various other measures for birth birth control. Then postpartum depression. Uh, this is on rise, and this we have to take care properly. So it is a major depressive disorder affecting 6.5% to 30% of all childbearing women. It is marked by a sad mood or loss of interest or five or more of the following. These things we have to monitor like appetite disturbance, anxiety, psychomotor disturbances, low energy, irritability, sleep disturbance, cognitive impairment and suicidal and or homicidal ideation. So these are very common things when um, the mother does not get the rest properly. Then symptoms may start as early as two weeks postpartum, but are generally recognized and diagnosed between six and 12 weeks postpartum and can last up to two or more years. Because initial uh, uh, one month, the mother and baby both are adjusting so we, we, we are it's difficult to uh, recognize the symptoms but by the six weeks my mother also settles the baby also settles down so we can easily uh, notice the symptoms so without treatment the presence of postpartum depression substantially increases the risks of chronic and treatment resistant depression and suicide Untreated uh, postpartum depression may also result in poor infant att attachment, cognitive, emotional, and behavioral problems in children that may last through adulthood, poor performance of infant safety measures, poor infant growth, and decreased breastfeeding. So uh, this thing is uh, becoming common, and one uh, of the one of the studies uh, says that. Uh, body is in an in a inflammatory state during uh, perpurium. So there is inflammation in the brain also. When that is not resolved, it, it is also one of the reasons for postpartum depression. And uh, nowadays, uh, antenatal depression is also coming up. We can find depression in pregnant mothers. So we have to uh, look for that also. We have to take care of that also. Then Sutika Paricharya regimen, what main things we have we follow during uh, the six weeks time? Uh, it is mainly includes uh, ahar, that is diet, and with, that is specific for postnatal period. Then abhyanga or massage. Then yoga, that is mainly asan and pranayam. And one is abdominal binding also. So what kind of diet should be uh, given to the mother? The postnatal dietary regimen has life promoting, anabolic, and vata elevating properties. Here, are vata elevating properties because uh, the uh, sutika kal or the uh, sutika is a vata dom a dominant uh, status. The motive of this dietary regimen is to improve the involution process, that is, the uh, uh, organs are reverting back to normal status. Then immunity, lactation, digestive power, and ultimately restore her health. The benefits of some dietary articles here, we are not going uh, what actually we uh, prescribe or what we uh, suggest, what dietary articles are being used and what are their benefits, I'll be focusing on that. So uh, first is the dry ginger or shunti. It is known to stimulate digestion because at that time, uh, the uh, the tissues um, are in a uh, low status. Uh, digestion is uh, slow, so it stimulates the digestion. It has anti-tumor, anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial property, and is effective against both gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. 
useful in nervine weakness, increases flow of urine, thus decreased chances of urinary tract infection. These are some of the benefits of uh, dry ginger. Then coal or zizipus or bear, what we call in India. It is a good source of calcium, phosphorus, vitamin A and C. It has antioxidant, wound healing and anti-inflammatory properties. So uh, wound healing here we can understand with uh, the placental site because that part is also uh, will, uh, is, a, is a kind of wound because uh, the placenta has separated and that part of uterus has to heal itself. Then uh, it is helpful in hypertension, fatigue and assists action of other herbs given in indigestion and is mild laxative. So it helps in the constipation and proper bowel movements also. And it has a tranquilization and sleep inducing effect that is very much required during this period because mother is not able to have uh, a proper sleep. So it helps in that. Then yav or barley, it is a good source of fiber and lignans and it contains copper, phosphorus, zinc and vitamin A. Then mulak or radish, uh, it is an appetizer, it is diuretic, it regulates metabolism and stimulates liver. Then uh, cucumber or the ervarut as we call in Ayurveda, it has 94% water content, keeps the body hydrated, regulates blood pressure, aids in digestion, act, acts as a diuretic. It contains magnesium, potassium, silica, vitamin A, B, C and K. And vitamin K has antioxidant and osteotrophic activity. That is, it maintains the bone health. And then pumpkin or kushmand or kadu or petha we call in India. It elevates thirst, is laxative, acts like a tranquilizer and brain tonic and has a vasoconstrictor effect that it stops bleeding. Then uh, these are the dietary articles and then uh, one thing, one uh, dietary component is uh, gruel or yavagu or we call as khichdi. It is made with rice and green gram. And uh, rice, it contains folate that is up to 27%, thiamine, manganese, magnesium, the net protein utilization and digestible energy in rice is high among all the common cereal grains. Its mineral content, starch quality, glycemic index, and antioxidant activity is unique among all the cereals. And high biological volu uh, value of amino acids, high content of essential fatty acids, and selenium are proven scientifically. And green gram, it contains good amount of protein, starch, phosphorus, potassium, calcium, iron, vitamin B complex, vitamin C, and essential fatty acids. It is a good source of fiber and amino acids. It has a low glycemic index, that is it prolongs the release of sugar in bloodstream, helps in decreasing post <clears throat> meal satiety. So uh, all the, the food we are using, all the dietary articles we are uh, giving to the mother, they are to be cooked. They are they're like radish uh, or uh, the pumpkin. It is not to be given in the raw form. It has to be slightly cooked. So if we take it, uh, consider it as, uh, it has a synergistic uh, effect. All these dietary articles, they are uh, replenishing the body with all the vital uh, micronutrients in the bioavailable form. <clears throat> Then studies have shown that consumption of starch from a legume source influences plasma leptin levels and may have a beneficial effect in preventing weight gain or increasing fat mass. Thus, rice cruel provides complete nutrition. And it has also been shown that this combination of rice and green gram provides more nutrition if we take it individually rather than taking it individually. And meat soup, it... Uh, it contains all essential amino acids and a good source of protein. And it is rich in zinc, selenium, phosphorus, folate, vitamin B12. Iron is absorbed better than from the plant foods. So meat soup is optional. Those who take uh, uh, non-veg can uh, uh, take the meat soup. Then other dietary articles which are uh, 
suggest is curcumin, coriander, fennel, nigella seeds, there is kalonji, carom seeds, uh, juayan, dill seeds, soya, uh, fenugreek seeds, methi, dry dates, uh, chuara, ghee, jaggery, gourd, tragacanth, gum, uh, that is the gourd, raisins, basically here we will use munakka, uh, the big one, fox nuts or the mukhana and watercress seeds or the uh, halo or halim or alive as it is called in uh, Hindi. So uh, these, uh, uh, yeah, so uh, these dietary articles we can use, for example, like cumin, coriander, fennel, these can be used uh, in boiled water. And uh, for purpura, uh, plain water is not advised. She has to take warm water and that too be boiled for at least uh, one, four, uh, one third of half. And then she has to consume that water. And then medicated water, she can add uh, cumin, coriander, and fennel and carom seeds in the water, boiled with that, and she has to take that water a uh, whole day. Then uh, dill seeds can also be used uh, in the water. Um, then uh, fenugreek seeds, or then uh, one option is uh, that uh, we can make a powder of fenugreek seeds, carom seeds, dill seeds, and can be taken uh, with the food. Then dry dates, um, uh, then raisins, fox nuts, these can be boiled in milk and can be taken as a porridge. These are to be taken in very small quantities, uh, can be taken uh, one or two times uh, in a day. Then ghee is very important. Uh, it has to be uh, given to the mother in any form. And here in India, everybody knows that uh, punjiri, uh, every state has a different form, a form of uh, recipes and uh, ghee is an important part of that. And that is very important, very crucial for the mother's health. Then jaggery or gourd, it is a good source of iron and it uh, cleanses the uterus, it activates, uh, 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 it uh, helps in uh, proper uh, involution of the uterus. That should also be taken in small quantities. And in Ayurveda, uh, Gurodak has been mentioned. That is uh, jaggery mixed in water. That water has to be uh, taken. Then uh, watercress seeds, halo or alif, that these can be grounded and made in uh, laddus uh, with jaggery and ghee. Then coconut is also very good, uh, dry coconut that can be uh, grated and can be made in laddu or in any form it can be uh, taken. All these uh, food, uh, dietary articles, they help in the uh, maintaining the mother's health and they uh, also increase the quantity and quality of breast milk. Should we move on? Yeah. Then another aspect is abhyang or massage. This is very important. It is an uh, anointment of body with warm medicated oils. It is derived from Sanskrit root ang, meaning movement or motion, and prefix abhi, meaning different or against. Thus, abhyang means rubbing, which involves motion in different directions. Next. So, what are the benefits of abhyang? It tones up the pelvic floor, abdominal and back muscles, and tissues and relieves muscle spasms. It aids in recovery from soft tissue injuries by increasing blood circulation. It improves digestion. It increases red blood cells, thus prevents anemia. And it improves lymph flow, hence improved immunity. Next. Then uh, thrombosis can be prevented by abhyam as rubbing and friction improves venous blood flow by dilating superficial blood vessels. Now, since mother was in the resting phase, so there are chances of thrombosis or the blood clot can happen. So uh, abhyang, it helps uh, in preventing uh, thrombosis. Then skin is the largest sense organ with many nerve endings in it. So abhyang soothes nervous system and endocrine system, releases endorphins, the feel-good hormones, which improves both physical and mental well-being, thus reducing the stress. And that is this uh, uh, postnatal massage is recommended. And in India, uh, we start with this, uh, I think, uh, within first week till uh, 40, 45 days, it is done. 
Abhyang is specially indicated in, on lower back and perineal region during postnatal period as it facilitates proper drainage of lochia, that is vaginal secretions. It pacifies the apan vayu and tones up vagina. Then findings indicate that abhyang or massage is promising in reducing subjective stress uh, experience. It may be beneficial in lowering uh, heart rate in all and uh, blood pressure in pre-hypertensive subjects. The results of this pilot study encourage further research with more stringent methodology. So it abhyang <coughs> benefits the mother and uh, along with mother, a massage is given to the baby also. Then another part is yoga. It should be started uh, like after seven months according to uh, the type of delivery. If, if it is normal delivery, we can start after one week. And if it is a CS section, then according to the status or when the stitches are uh, <clears throat> removed, then uh, it can be started uh, according to the status of the mother. Then additional care is needed for rapid restoration of women's optimal health during perfurium and yoga is important among them. So various studies have shown that postpartum yoga encouraged pulmonary circulation and thoracic expansion and also strengthened the interior abdominal wall muscles thus improving their respiratory function and uh, 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 mainly uh, weak abdominal wall it leads to diastasis rectus. So uh, we have to strengthen the anterior abdominal wall muscles. Also abdominal muscle tone contributes to stability of lumbar spine. Women who exercise in postpartum period recover almost twice as fast as matched control subjects in terms of physical ability and emotional stability. So here we are uh, uh, healing on the physical level and on the emotional level also. Mothers sleep better and for longer time. Here I'll be sharing uh, a testimonial uh, by Dr. Rajat Verma. I think he will be joining us. I can... Okay, so we, we can see if, if he has... Uh, I can see that. Ha, Dr. Rajat Verma, he is... Yeah. I, can, I can make him as a host. Yeah. Okay. All right. Dr. Rajat Verma, you, you can turn on your video. Hello. Yes, uh, namaste, uh, everybody. Good evening. My name is Rajat. And I practice in 2015 Ayurveda and along with Ayurveda, I am a certified pranic healer. So, uh, Dr. Baljot, thanks to Dr. Baljot, first of all, that they gave me the opportunity to join this session. Join karne ke liye. Uh, college में मैं वो मेरे lecturer भी रहे हैं तो मैंने उनसे काफी कुछ सीखा भी है तो uh, इसी practice में चलते चलते last year uh, अभी uh, uh, मेरी जो बेटी है वो thirteen months की हो गई है तो जो मेरे wife थे उनको pregnancy में काफी complications थे uh, along with that uh, उस टाइम पे कुछ ज्यादा चीजें आपने भी ऑब्जर्व की होंगी कि हम आयुर्वेदा फॉलो करते हैं चाहे हम कोई और अल्टरनेटिव थेरेपी या कोई भी ऑर्थोडॉक्स सिस्टम फॉलो करते हैं कुछ केसेस में जो सिम्टम्स हैं वो ज्यादा इंप्रूव नहीं हो पाते सो कैन ट्रांसलेट इन इन इंग्लिश एट द सेम टाइम डॉक्टर रजत इफ यू डोंट माइंड uh, okay. It's just given in the testimonial. I've written all the things what he's saying. Okay, fine. That's okay. Yeah. That's okay. all right. No problem. Okay, please go ahead. Okay. So, I was telling you that uh, uh, with these kind of uh, symptoms, uh, very small symptoms, uh, we cannot help much more. 
uh, uh, some symptoms uh, uh, we we can cure uh, with the help of ayurveda and uh, other alternative medicines other orthodox systems uh, but few systems in uh, few symptoms in few cases we cannot uh, help much uh, uh, there is a long discussion about that uh, some kind of karmic issues in that and uh, a lot of stuff so the same with my wife uh, but uh, thanks to dr baljot uh, ki unhone ayurveda se kafi help ki ओके बट सम हाउ कि उनको कॉम्प्लिकेशंस काफ़ी रही उस पीरियड में तो आ, मेरी जो बेटी थी वो बिल्कुल हेल्दी थी उस टाइम पे हाँ बट जो आ, मेरे वाइफ थे आ, वो ज़्यादा न्यूट्रिशन ना नहीं ले पाए बिकॉज ऑफ दैट जो जब वो बेबी को फीड करते थे आ, तो आ, मैंने ये ऑब्जर्व किया और हम सब ऑब्जर्व कर रहे थे कि आ, क्वान्टिटी इज ओके क्वान्टिटी ऑफ द फीड इज ओके बट द क्वालिटी इज नॉट फाइन जो बेबी था वो उस वो सेटिस्फाई नहीं होता था वो वो उसकी डिमांड वही रहती थी कि uh, uh, उसको हमें लगता था कि और ज़्यादा चाहिए तो मैंने डॉक्टर बलजोत से दोबारा कॉन्टेक्ट किया कि तो डॉक्टर बलजोत का एक अपना uh, उन, उनकी प्रेपरेशन है फॉर दिस स्पेसिफिक इशूज कि जो मदर की फीड है उसको इम्प्रूव करने के लिए तो उन उन्होंने वो प्रेपरेशन उनमें उसमें से कुछ चेंजेस करके क्योंकि उनको सारी हिस्ट्री पता थी तो शी डिलीवर्ड दैट मेडिसिन टू मी और इसके साथ उन्होंने कुछ और आयुर्वेदिक प्रेपरेशन इंट्रोड्यूस की आफ्टर दैट विद इन स्पैन ऑफ टेन टेन फिफ्टीन डेज Uh, the things all together changed uh, to jo uh, meri change kaise hui wo baby ki health se hi pata lag jata hai main uh, oh, wo baby jo tha us time pe uh, two months ka tha wo wo usko satisfy hone lag gaya wo wo bahut kam time ke liye for 10 15 minutes ke liye feed deti thi to usko ek satisfaction milne lagi uske jo sleeping hours the baby ke wo wo bad gaye जो कि पहले वो सो नहीं पाती थी सो दैट्स ऑल इसके अलावा भी देर आर मैनी केसेज द पेशेंट्स केम टू मी विद मैनी सिम्टम्स मैनी केसेज इन विच डॉक्टर बलजोत हेल्प मी आर अ लॉट विद द हेल्प ऑफ आयुर्वेदा सो आई एम वेरी थैंकफुल टू डॉक्टर बलजोत रिसेंट केस इज द ऑफ ओवेरियन ओवेरियन सिस्ट the uh, patient is taking treatment from me of ayurveda and of course pranic healing also pranic healing helped uh, the patient a lot but the dr baljot also gave uh, her uh, ayurvedic treatment uh, of ovarian uh, cyst now the size of the cyst is reduced too much uh, at the beginning the uh, size of the cyst is approximately uh, uh, 48 mm or plus but now the in the span of 6 uh, months the uh, size of the cyst reduced to 4 mm or 5 mm thank you thank you so thank much you. dr rajat uh, thank you so thank much you. for joining us thank you thank, thank you. you rajat thank you so much thank you thank you okay so moving on um, <clears throat> we we just want to continue with dr baljot yeah we'll, uh, la- um, last slide uh the last slide i mean we just oh, okay okay no no problem yeah yeah this is uh, uh, one one more case that you want to share okay. yeah this is one more case uh, i would i would like to discuss the case of rajat verma the prerogative term also so uh, uh, last slide okay so so th- this one right here no no uh, the back one last this one yes another one. this one uh no one last one more this is dr rajat yeah. okay yeah 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 so uh, like his wife she also had uh, pain in abdomen and lower back uh, especially in the tailbone so i just wanted to emphasize that these are the very uh, common complaints uh, okay. and uh, that breath, and the breast uh, feeding problem was also there so with the medicine or what uh, the uh, the treatment protocol we follow in ayurveda so she was uh, 
uh, her aches and her uh, pain uh, was uh, reduced and later on it was all fine and she was feeling healthy and uh, her and his baby is also uh, healthy and I, I i can see the difference so that's the beauty of ayurveda <laughs> That's that's a wonderful, uh, amazing testimonial. Uh, should we move on to the? Yeah, uh, yeah. This is another testimonial. Uh, this is for the decreased breast milk. Uh, the patient had uh, come uh, after two months of uh, her delivery, and um, she complained of decreased breast milk since one month. And the main complaints were like breast doesn't become full after breastfeeding her baby, and general weakness was there. And uh, and baby, uh, the satiety was not there after breastfeeding, and it uh, used to urinate in, after, uh, in some time after taking the feed, and then again becomes hungry, cranky, and crying. This is the common um, complaint. And yeah. uh, she and the baby had loose food also. And uh, and usually what happens is uh, since most of the people are not aware uh, what Ayurveda can provide, um, they opt for the formula milk or the bottle feed. But she was. Uh, sure that she didn't want to uh, give her child at least two months child the formula of milk so she came to me for the consultation and like um, i had given her one week's medicine like i should uh, see how uh, that is uh, she's responding but after two three days of taking the medicine uh, next slide yeah she um, her breast milk was adequate and within 20, 15 to 20 minutes, uh, like after feeding, she could feel that her breasts are full uh, and general well-being was good and, ba and, and baby, the stool was formed, uh, satiety was there, sleep was proper and after even after urination, the baby was uh, playful and doesn't cry for feed. So in patients' words, like in, like she uh, told me in Hindi, like, do pine ke baad aram se khelti rehti hai, deir tak soti rehti hai, like baby playful and uh, she sleeps, um, uh, she had a sound sleep. Mm -hmm. So uh, the reason for sharing this case is that uh, like, like uh, in India, like she was from middle class and she was sure, which was so particular for her child that she does not want to give her the formula feed. She wanted to give her milk only. Yeah. So the well-being of the body and mind is a state of fitness. During labor, body and mind undergo a series of physiological changes, stress, strain, and physical exhaustion. So Acharyas have truly quoted the benefits of Kutika Paricharya as Purna Navi Bhavati. So that is the revitalization or rejuvenation. So that is, it helps in Purna Navi Karan of the lost strength of muscles, digestive system, and internal organs. It also fulfills the objectives of Sutika Paricharya like Vata Jayate, that is the um, uh, vat, balance of Vata, rejuvenation of Garbha Vritti, Shapeta Sharir, that is uh, with the fetus uh, in utero, the baby is taking nutrient from the mother only. Due to that, uh, there is deficiency in the body. But, but with this uh, regimen, body becomes uh, revitalized. Then Yoni Gadi Karan, that is the laxity of muscles, laxity of ligaments is there. With this, uh, the muscles re return to the normal state. And, uh, and here specifically, I would like to uh, say that ligaments are the last to return to the normal status. That is, it takes more than six months. So, uh, Lelik, if you uh, observe that we specifically uh, say uh, tell mother that you don't have to uh, squat or you don't have to cross it cross-legged because the longer you sit in the, those positions the ligaments remain in those states so uh, you have to uh, sit with the legs straight that way there are certain uh, do's and don'ts we uh, uh, prescribe to the mother then uh, kukshihirasan that is the involution of the uterus uterus comes to the normal status and agni vardhan that is the digestive um, uh, capacity is increased. So uh, here I would like to uh, uh, share one uh, one observation that we have we have seen the you said yoni gadi karan. <clears throat> Most of the females, uh, when they come uh, in the age of like 35 to 45, especially with the uh, prolapse of the uterus or with the cystocele, that is the first degree prolapse. If you take their history. 
there will be one in, uh, incident or one uh, during one delivery where the second stage of labor was prolonged or the postnatal care was not given properly so uh, so for any female this uh, vaginal examination is must so when we take proper care during postnatal period the pelvic organs remain healthy so i'll share one case over here that one uh, female that she came with a complaint of um, uh, uh, that is uh, uh, stress incontinence, uh, urge incontinence, that she could not hold her urine for longer time. For every day, she has to uh, uh, urinate every few hours. I think since the last two, three years, she has been uh, consulting uh, 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 the physicians or the urologists. Nobody uh, checked her, uh, did her PD. And even the, she went to urologist, uh, urophlometry was done, medicines were given. She said that you, by the time I'm taking medicines, I'm fine. But after a few uh, days, then again, I'm back to spare one. When I uh, checked her, when I did her uh, pervic anal examination, she had second degree prolapse. But since second degree is within the vagina, patient does, does not feel that uh, there is some problem. So basic problem was that her laxity of the vagina. So when we uh, treat that, um, the, the problem with the urination also resolves. That's that's great. <clears throat> so by following Sutika Paricharya, that is postnatal care, we can decrease maternal morbidity and mortality considerably during postpartum period. And happy and healthy mother is the foundation of healthy and vibrant society, leading to healthy and progressive nation. Thank you. Very well said. Beautiful. Very well said. We are open for questions. I saw questions coming up. So we yeah. are open for questions now. Um, <clears throat> let's see. I see. Who... Okay. So, um, hi, with newborns, if the baby sleeps far too long or begins forming autistic symptoms, is there an herb or other intervention that would be safe to give at lower dose to return the sleep pattern or prevent autism unfolding? This is a very heavy yeah, question yeah. now. No, no, it's okay. I, I had this thing in mind. I just wanted to okay. uh, uh, say uh, about this, uh, that um, this antenatal care, what we call it, uh, Gardini Paricharya, during uh, the pregnancy uh, state, we give only Ayurvedic uh, regimen and Ayurvedic medicines. So these help in the health of mother and the proper development of the baby. And nowadays what happens is, as I said initially, that the health is, uh, is ongoing. Like we cannot uh, make it as, a, as an entity, like uh, pregnant state is one, postnatal care is one, that way. So in adolescent state also, we have to have uh, good nutrition, good lifestyle, that will lead to uh, healthy pregnancy and the care during pregnancy will lead to healthy postnatal period uh, because uh, as Ayurveda uh, says that the nutrition a mother takes, it, uh, it is uh, distributed in three parts, that one part is uh, nourishes the mother, one part nourishes the fetus and the third part nourishes the breast milk. So the diet and the regimen we are following during pregnancy, it helps a lot in the health of the baby. So during postnatal period also, the kind of, uh, the, uh, we have emphasized on the quality of breast milk. That also helps uh, in the health of the child. The, uh, if the baby is sleeping for long hours, there's nothing to worry. But if, uh, uh, that will depend on how, how old uh, uh, is the baby. Uh, the, right and uh, even if the baby is small we can help we can uh, with the medicines uh, with the herbs we can control that so how long the baby do you want to expand on it uh, i think uh, we, we just want to get to other questions if anyone has other questions but as doctor said uh, you know how long the baby is sleeping if you want to uh, put it in the chat window um, it's up to you um, but but like uh, like that's what I uh, I understand. Yeah, what maybe you're if sleeping for uh, continuously for five six hours, it's okay. It's perfectly fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Any other comments? Any other questions um, before we wrap up? 
we will be starting a workshop uh, for uh, for moms, for young moms. Oh, I mean, for new moms. I should say that young moms for new moms soon, and we'll be uh, announcing it um, probably in, um, in in the next few weeks. Maybe at the beginning of the year, we will be announcing it soon after talking with Dr. Baljot. But you're welcome to ask any questions, any comments, any feedback right now. Um, because um, any other questions before I wrap up? So one of the things is that, uh, you know, in, in US, as you know, like, uh, you know, you talked a lot of things about Abhyanga, you know, the massage, it's very difficult uh, for, uh, you know, especially in Western nations, you know, when yeah. you have so much help uh, for, for doing Abhyanga. So then do you recommend like a self massage for, for the moms, you know, yeah. take it? Okay, so exactly. what kind of oil, yeah. Uh, there are various oils, but simple sesame oil uh, we can use. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Start with that, but otherwise uh, there are Ayurvedic uh, uh, oils. Other oils. Other oils. And then you also recommend uh, massaging the baby a little bit, right? Yeah. In the, yes. That's yes. what you mentioned. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That can be used, uh, like in India, we use mother mustard oil or the uh, ghee uh, that can be used. Otherwise, medicated oils are there. Oh, medicated oils. So you recommend using that um, uh, self massaging uh, along with the diet massage yeah, and the. Yeah, I would like to say that um, the things I have mentioned uh, in the presentation and the dietary articles I have mentioned, uh, if someone is not support is not there, so you just prepare these things uh, in a uh, smaller quantity. Either you're, if, if, even if you are taking it in small quantities, then also it is going to help. But yeah. I would suggest that uh, during pregnancy, just um, look for if some support during at least for the first 15 days after pregnancy, because that is very crucial phase. If yeah. you can have, get some support, there are, I think in US also, there are some uh, support groups or uh, something like that. So we can uh, work on that. They can work on that. So that they yeah. have that kind of support. Yeah, no, no, there is a lot of online support groups. What I meant was- um, No, I can understand. Family support. Yeah, yeah. That they can work on their friends, or uh, I think there are yeah. dollars also. They can. Uh, correct, uh, correct. Midwives, yeah. 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 Okay. So, one comment is the very good information. Thank you for bringing up such an important topic and aspect. You're welcome. Thank welcome you. to, uh, yeah. Uh, so, we will be wrapping up now. Any last question before I wrap up? Uh, please share our sessions to help other moms, uh, help us spread the word. Yeah. And these are educational sessions not to be taken as medical advice. You know, I didn't say it in the beginning because I want the sessions to start. But mm -hmm. um, so please help us share, um, the, you know, natural health, natural therapies. With that, I'm going to wrap up any last questions. You're welcome to ask. Okay. All right. I'm going to wrap up right now. Thank you so much, Dr. Bajot, for being with us. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. And this is very, um, this topic is very close to my heart. And I'm working on this, like I'm working um, on uh, collecting the traditional uh, postnatal care all over India. So we can, uh, so the, uh, the material I have uh, uh, got, I can uh, analyze that the care is the same, but according yeah. to the place, the dietary articles are a bit different, but the care is the same, and that is providing the proper nutrition needed. And it That's helps right. in the mother and it helps in the baby, uh, to the yeah. baby also. So it's, it, it should be followed. I would say absolutely, absolutely, and, and yeah, postnatal care is, is 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 all over universal, all over the world. It maybe yeah. the diet, you know, different food that's not available in some parts of the world could change. Yeah, but we can work on that. The the uh, food available in in different places, absolutely. we can work on that. It, it can be used. Yeah. Thank you so much uh, for being with us. Uh, with that, I'd like to thank you all the viewers. Uh, give us your feedback and uh, please help us share. Thank you. Have a great Sunday and happy uh, the Sarah for, to all the Indian viewers who are watching. Thank you so much. Thank you Bye -bye. so much. Thank you so much.